there's no question that uh, the world's just been taken aback by the advances in immunotherapy, which are a, an application of gene therapy. And what we're seeing is in cancer patients who really previously had no opportunity to survive, uh, some of those patients are having complete responses. And it's really because of the combination of using immunotherapy, getting the patient to mount an immune response against their own tumor, and using combinations of strategies to really augment that. There's been some tremendous responses in leukemias, uh, in, in melanomas, and in a variety of other kinds of solid tumors, tumors of your major organs. And so a lot of excitement uh, that, in fact, we started to turn the tide on the disease by really getting the patient's immune system to recognize the cancer as foreign. What we recognized some years ago is that cancers are, are particularly sensitive to virus infection. And that led us to try to develop virus therapeutics, viruses that replicate in cancers and destroy them but don't replicate in your normal tissues. And it turns out these viruses uh, are very selective, kill the cancer, but they also uh, stimulate the patient's immune system to recognize the cancer as, as foreign. And so you're getting a one-two punch, the virus attacking the tumor and then the immune system coming in to really finish off the job. We use a variety of different kinds of viruses. We use some the, that are based upon a virus called Vaccinia virus. Uh, and a second one is a, a virus that was isolated actually from sandflies in Brazil. And we think these viruses used uh, alone or in combination and along with immune modulation will really have a chance to, to have a big impact on patient outcomes. There's no question that, uh, that this whole field has really changed the trajectory of cancer research and uh, really a lot of focus now on ways to really activate the patient's own immune system to, to recognize the cancer and do the job itself. So try to get away from the concept of using drugs, uh, chemotherapy and radiation therapy, but use more biological approaches to, to try to treat the cancer.